Hello Desert Bearhawk fans, uh, we're in the shop, 1130, dark outside, and I have completed the fabrication of the left aileron. She's all done. So once again, gussets in place, gussets in place. And she's all drilled up and ready to go. So tomorrow, after breakfast, what I'll do is I will take all these Calicos out. Then I need to dimple all of the parts that need to be dimpled. So these gussets, um, these ribs will be get dimpled. All the gu all the gussets will get dimpled, and then anywhere there's a rib. Ooh, look at that! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot the rivet for right there. I need to put something there to remind me in the morning. And yeah, that'll do it. Forgot that rivet. One rivet. Would have missed one. So if you look over here, uh, well, doesn't really apply because these two pieces kind of come together. So, but anyways, missed one. So what I was saying is I will um, disassemble this. And I will dimple it with the, uh, we'll use the pneumatic C-squeeze. I'll put a different yoke in it and I will dimple these. Um, the ones that are going to be tight will be some of the dimples in here, like uh, this one here will be tight. So I'll have to use my, uh, my um, hand squeezer dimple. Uh, maybe I'll show you that tomorrow. It's kind of a neat tool. But I'll dimple them all up, then I will uh, give them an acid bath and etch them, dry them off, which should take about 14 seconds here in the summer heat, and then I will paint them with primer. Then I'm probably going to go to a movie and let it just kind of let the primer harden up for the most part, and then I'll uh, reassemble everything upside down on the board like we are now. I will rivet this side of the skin and I will then flip it over flat on the board and finish up. Now one thing to remember if you're building one of these and not just following along see this hole right here that hole is so you can slide a tube into that hole and you slide it in you start here and you slide it in you slide it past where the hinge is going to be there's an, each one of those ribs has that hole in it and then from here all the way to here, that tube is going to be that long, whatever that is, uh, 50 inches or something. I don't know, I'll have to measure it. And that tube is filled with lead. And what that does is it weights the leading edge of this aileron and balances it on its hinges. You want your control surfaces to be balanced or you'll have the potential to develop flutter in flight. Now, do they need to be balanced absolutely perfectly? Probably not, but you wanna get them pretty dang close. So you're gonna to have to do a little calculating for how much the fabric is gonna weigh on these open spans and try to try to compensate. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna overbalance it a little bit on this end overbalance it and then when I start putting my fabric on if I need to I will just uh, I will put a lead weight on one of these pieces on the trailing edge here and get it right into perfect balance but it's not really super required anyhow that's progress for now all holes are drilled and we're ready to go together all I have to do is dimple and prime and then we can start riveting should have this thing knocked out by Sunday easy maybe even tomorrow night Riveting goes really fast once you start doing it. Um, it really takes longer. It really takes longer to do the pull rivets, the blind rivets that go here. Um, and if you don't know what a blind rivet is, well, you're going to continue to not know what one is for a while. I'll, I'll show you tomorrow. But a blind rivet, basically what that means is you don't have to, you, you can't get to the other side to put a bucking bar to buck a solid rivet like you do on, on these here. It's a blind rivet, so you're pulling it blind. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't get to the other side. Pop rivets are used all over the world for all kinds of stuff. But in this particular case, if I could get to the other side of this nose rib, I would buck a solid rivet. But because I can't, I'm going to pull a blind rivet. 
and uh, these will all be blind rivets. Oh, and what I was saying about, wow, I lost my thought. What I was saying about that um, metal tube going through here, if you're building one of these, be sure to leave this blind rivet out because if you pull this one, you can see how close to the edge it is. You may foul this hole and that tube won't slide through properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the blind rivets except for this one. Then once I balance it and get it balanced, then I'll put a, I'll just put a blind rivet in there real quick, and it won't be no big deal. So there you have it. That's the update for tonight. Um, the other aileron is ready to go to have its nose skin and um, gussets put on. It's already drilled with the nose ribs and the trailing edge ribs are already in place. So it's going to go pretty fast. Um, I've already cut out the parts. Like I said, I have all the all the extra parts for for the second aileron all cut, so I don't have to waste my time doing that. I know what the measurements are for the nose skin, so I don't have to waste my time doing that. It's basically going to be clamp that thing down, start bending and, and drilling, and we should be able to knock that one out real fast. So I'm thinking eh, Wednesday of next week, I'm going to have both ailerons and both flaps done and then the next thing to do is I gotta come over to these these spars these are the trailing edge spars and I gotta kinda tune them up I gotta work these flanges a little bit these flanges right here um, I'll work them with the mallet and get them just right so they're so they're at the right angles and that'll take a little time and finesse but I'll do that while I have this long table set up get those done and then as soon as I get those tapped and tweaked into position they're going to go into the house in the entryway of the house my wife is good enough to allow me to do that and um, these tables will get disassembled and I will probably take a week reconfiguring this garage as you can see I have a lot of things in here take about a week reconfigure this garage make some things go away like those folding card tables are going to go away and some of these benches are going to go in that spot and um, get ready to put my vertical posts I'll have vertical posts that go from the ceiling to the floor that these uh, spars are going to get uh, locked into as a fixture and then I'll start lacing in my ribs there's some ribs there's the remainder of the ribs over there I'll start lacing those ribs in and drilling and riveting and don't know how long it's going to take, but when that's done, I'll start skinning the wing. And it won't be long before this wing is out of here. And in comes the fuselage. All right, so now that's the update for tonight. And uh, till next time, we'll see you in the shop.